Hey YouTube, uh, this is David, Richter Scale Studios. Uh, what you're looking at, um, I've had this for a while. Uh, this was during um, the um, Dead Zone Kickstarter, Secret Web Miniatures uh, with uh, Justin McCoy, or Mr. Justin everyone knows as. Also had a Kickstarter with Tablescapes. They did a special Tablescape for Dead Zone, and that's what you're looking at right now. This is a uh, basic uh, game board with a uh, grid, and it's got a lot of detail in it, and this has got actually an extra thing on it. It's actually a display board too. So you can make a display board out of a two by two piece, uh, or two by these one foot tiles. You use four of those, so you have two by two that you can actually uh, attach a, um, actually that goes right on there if you want, and uh, put your name of your army or whatever you want to do with that. And it came with extra clips, let me show you how it works. This is all solid uh, injected plastic. It's very, very rigid. Um, holds detail very good. And you can see how they reinforced everything with these circles, concentric circles, to give it a lot more um, rigidity. And this has a simple clip system. Uh, these are the clips of the frame going in. And you can see how they pop in. And let's see how extra clips here. And you have more clips. If I wanted to take this off just as a game board, you have these clips that just pop in and you're done. Um, also, as a sidetrack, or not really a sidetrack, like this. Um, not a problem. Uh, this will be easy to prime, uh, probably just with a, I'll probably use a rattle can primer on this, then go to it with an airbrush and an oil wash, and then just go and pick out some of the details. These aren't the really super detailed ones that they do. I just want to show you something else I got today. This is kind of an unboxing. Uh, oh, as a side note too, let's see. Um, I went to Secret Weapons uh, Warehouse and uh, Mr. Justin had a airbrush class. It was an eight hour class today. We worked on these uh, GW uh, Ogres. Uh, this is all we got. We did skin and pants today. So uh, learned a little bit of color theory and uh, pre-shading and post-shading. So he's got some uh, blue pants with like dark purple shading. Then uh, probably did five, six steps of shading with like, really dark browns. and go almost to a white to um, highlight them. He turned out pretty good. I want to take the brush to him and maybe do some more airbrushing like on his uh, club and maybe do some uh, non-metallic metals on his uh, gauntlet, I guess you'd call that. And uh, yeah, just kind of a fun little figure to work on. It was a lot of fun. And also they, uh, or they, Mr. Justin allowed us to buy stuff directly uh, out of the warehouse today. And this is pretty exciting. I. I like making game boards, but these are amazing. Well, this is 250 bucks. This is uh, the Secret Weapons Miniature Tablescapes. And this is called, um, I believe, what's that saying on the box? Um, 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 um. 24 tiles. I believe this is called Urban Streets Clean. So these are not destroyed or anything. And uh, this would be the first time I get to open these also. Let's see here, let's take a razor knife to that. These two sides, let me spin this one real quick. Really nice box, uh, it's got a handle in it and it looks like this is pretty durable. Very well, I mean, very nice box, it's all printed and it's got a really nice sheen to it. So it looks like it'll hold up for a while. Wow, this is crazy. And this is what this comes with. Let me tip that over like that until we can see. And another thing about these tablescapes, uh, go to Secret Weapon Miniatures, look at those. Um, look at online. Um, and you know, if you are familiar with Secret Web Miniatures, they're known for their uh, uh, washes and glazes and pigments. And uh, also a full range of, of bases, or the same amount of bases, probably the best bases on the market. 
So these are the clean streets, a little bit of cracked and like nice asphalt um, feel to it. Let's move this back a little bit more. And let's see what else we got here. We got all the connectors, got a big bag of connectors and intersections. There is uh, eight separate um, tiles. So there's four of these. Then we got these sidewalks here, the sidewalks. So uh, another sidewalk, a double sidewalk, sidewalk. Double sidewalk. Another double, so you have a sidewalk, road sidewalk. This has got two corners. So you can set these street scenes any way you want. Oh, here's like a little, uh, like a, a square or like, you know, for uh, like in the middle of the city. You put your buildings, nice little foundation, no streets on these at all. Some more of those. More of those. Oh, this is cool. Okay, this one has a raisable barricade. This is pretty, uh, this is pretty awesome. Um, I mean, I'll put this together and show it in a bit. But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. So there's one of those. More, uh, okay, that's another, these are kind of some plain, another like plain like uh, square though with a sidewalk around it. Another one of those. Those. More of those. And, uh, ooh, this one's a pretty cool one too. This has got like a big uh, giant grate or maybe like an elevator. Somebody goes down to that. Um, I'm gonna pause this real quick. I'm gonna put a couple of these together and then uh, show you some other stuff I got too. Be back in a second. Hey, we're back. I just did a three foot by two foot section, so six square feet. Um, that is gonna be one quarter of what you can make. So this is huge. Um, I didn't take apart this thing. Yeah, it looks like I have to cut some more plastic off of this. These glue in. I don't think they pop in. They thin in really nicely. And this will go up as a uh, barricade to stop. So I kind of made that look like a, um, you can't get into this uh, section of the street. And there's two uh, like little plaza areas, one here and one there. And then you have like, this little uh, detail of it looks like an elevator or a vent going, uh, subterranean vent. You have all kinds of little detailed cracks. This is going to be awesome to paint. Really cool texture to it. Actually, this looks like, um, kind of a blast in here like a I don't know if it's supposed to be that way or part of the plastic maybe that's the way it's injected and molded in it's kind of cool looking I can imagine taking an uh, airbrush and doing a bunch of um, um, radius uh, things and making it look like a, something burst on there that's kind of cool oh also I picked up today uh, I don't know if I can see these okay it says uh, master class train scrap yard destroyed tank um, one reason why I bought, um, they make this ruin or clean. I bought the clean version because uh, you can make it ruin, but you can't make a ruin one clean. If that makes sense. It does to me. Because uh, I can easily throw craters on this. You can't take the craters that are built off. So you're stuck. So if you wanted a clean street, like I have uh, my Kickstarter for Dust Tactics coming in. I like to have a nice little, you know, easy, easy way to run these things around. Also, um, I can totally integrate those. Everything that Secret Weapon makes with these tablescapes, everything's integrated. Every one of them can connect to one another, which is really cool. So I can obviously just take, um, do, if I do a four by six with this, adding, make sure you can see me on camera here. I'm sorry, there we go. Uh, I can do a four by six with this, standard uh, Warhammer 42K table. I can make a small little um, apocalypse game taking uh, three of these, adding it on the end. Or you can even add a tack on one, uh, on another, or just add a, a, a piece of terrain, or uh, easily buy another kit. Uh, they sell these in different sizes. Uh, go to Secret Weapon and check on those. I bought the, the standard 24, that's a six by four table. And I just wanna show you, this resin train's amazing. And uh, have you seen any of this stuff before? They always use the highest quality uh, techniques for casting their resin and um, if you ever see their sales for bags of crap uh, they sell their uh, 
tossaways that don't meet their uh, uh, standards for sale, and those are amazing. Thirty bucks, you get like a thick, solid bag of bases and everything. Um, you and I, we couldn't do that good of a job doing it unless you're a professional uh, in the casting. But see, this thing have a have a tank destroyed. There, you got plenty of terrain, and this is uh, let's see this one. Masterclass Scrapyard uh, Junk Walls. Uh, this is more orky. I do play orcs, if you can see some of my things. But also, this could be like uh, your Chaos Cultists making uh, some kind of um, barricade. So there you go. Your road is blocked. Got a truck flipped over and some random junk. Uh, maybe you just have like a something there. Let's, okay, let's take this guy off the <laughs> base. Obviously, you, you got, everybody guys knows that fantasy ogres are a pretty big uh, uh, miniature, but uh, that's how he looks. Actually, fits perfect on the sidewalk. So once again, uh, thank you for joining me. Let me show you the box real quick too. Let me put this aside. Uh, I'm really impressed with the box, and also uh, Justin's secret weapon miniature is really considered about selling the rest of his products too while he was doing this and showing you um, what secret weapons can is available to you. See if I can get that down. Oops. I just kicked the tripod. Sorry about that people. Let me lower this down a little bit. Oh my lighting's good enough to show you all this. But this shows you you know, innovations of how they put it together is very uh, modular, easy to put together, easy to store. I'm gonna actually be able to take my dead zone board and the frame stored in here with room to go, with extra room. And it shows you other stuff. These are like some of the other things that are specifically designed for Tablescape. These items were not, but they, they go with everything. I mean, they, uh, Mr. Justin considers everything when he designs stuff. So they have actually themed scenery that goes with each board. And also, obviously, all the bases. If you know anything about secret weapons, they have the best bases on the market. Uh, any size, any, if you want beveled, round, uh, square, they have them all. And, and this in dozens and dozens of themes. So you can have something that actually fits your um, table. What else is on here that's interesting? Also, it kind of shows you, gives you um, an idea how to paint this up. You see, like, the blues and the purples, and you got light cracks. Kind of looks like a, a sunny day, and uh, you can see how they um, uh, painted the uh, street, stri street stripes, I guess. Put on this side. Gives you the idea of the detail they have in this. Tells you a 24 tile set. Shows you each of the tiles that comes with it. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. These are all different ones, and these two are... Uh, very different. Are these the two uh, single ones? And there's uh, multiples of each of these, so you can mix and match and make a really cool road. And what else we have on here? Whoa. And there it talks about, you know, how they start uh, his other stuff. Oh, these are really cool too. These tank traps. I saw those. He has some really cool um, generators and. Uh, Jersey barriers that we all use and um, columns. These are the washes. These are the pigments. I think most everyone in the our hobby field knows about secret weapon pigments and washes. So uh, that is it for tonight. I know I probably ran on with this, but it's kind of exciting to pick this up. An awesome class. Uh, met a lot of great people. Uh, eight hours of just you know sitting down and uh, talking about the hobby with fellow uh, hobbyists is a treat. And uh, that'll be it. Uh, thank you for joining me. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.